I don't know something about it. What? I don't know it's like too bright now. <laughs> Good morning! Today is a Tuesday and I haven't slept yet. I came straight from America to come to work. Yes. <sighs> no, more to kind of, if I just went home I would have fallen asleep. And then I would have got jet lag. So I'm trying to stick to a normal routine and stick with it. This is why I'm wearing sunglasses in a basement because I'm Casey Neistat in it because I look like death. But I'm really happy because you didn't know this, but my camera started to break in America. You don't know this, I didn't tell you either. Basically, my the back screen that was coming up, the screws came loose and they were starting to like, it was wobbling and I didn't want to use it anymore. So when I came in, I checked the screwdrivers and we actually had one small enough and I've screwed it back in there, it's all oh, fixed now. Excellent. I'm really happy with it, yay. So it turns out in my jet lagged state, I didn't film anything else for the rest of the day. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. But it wouldn't have been an interesting vlog. Basically, I went, I stayed in work. I fought off death. I came home, I fought off death some more and then I passed out. But I did manage to stay up. But that's something most people can't say they did. Commute from America to go straight to work. <laughs> yeah, uh, sorry I didn't vlog much of it. Uh, also, when we landed, uh, we, that is when we found out about the Manchester attack. It happened whilst we were in the air and we were going to Manchester. So we got off at Heathrow and all of a sudden my phone lit up and said there was a Manchester attack. And I thought it happened like there and then and it hadn't. It actually happened about 10 hours before. Uh, and uh, to be honest, like the security was pretty amazing. It wasn't like it, ridiculous. But there was, by the time we got to Manchester, like nothing was delayed or anything like that. But by the time we got to Manchester, there were armed soldiers in the airport. And it's unusual for British people to see armed people walking around. And it was, I didn't know the severity of the attack. So I wasn't too freaked out, but it was, it was surreal. It was. Somewhere, and someone's playing music really loud. It's 2 a.m. at the moment, and I can hear Jump Around playing, and someone was just playing Mumford and Sons, and like some club. It's just really, really loud. I know it's only a Saturday, but still. Um, I digress. <laughs> but yeah, so this was the day we landed, so we d I didn't film any of the landing. Didn't want to be filming in the airport. I don't know why. I just, I felt like I shouldn't around armed people i don't know uh, so we didn't film any of that then uh got to the shop and i just forgot i'm so sorry so i'm so sorry this vlog is so short and i'm really tired and it's really late so i shouldn't be filming so 